where I'm just like, this is what I do, this cover. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to talk about a question that I get asked a lot um, as a trainer. A lot of my clients tend to They'll always text me, it'll always be after 7 o'clock, and they'll be like, Hey, I didn't get all my meals in before 7. Is it okay if like, I eat it before I go to bed? Okay. Insert my ah, Just do it! The number one thing I tell each and every one of them is that time is man-made. Our bodies do not run on a 24-hour clock. Okay? So if it's 7 o'clock in the morning, if it's noon, if it's 10 o'clock at night, if you're about to go to bed, your body doesn't say, oh, it's past 7, you know what? Everything you just ate is automatically going to get stored as fat. That does not happen. It does not work that way. I think where that came from, I have a theory, I could be wrong, but it makes sense. I think a lot of that stigma came from, you know, the average North American family, you know, they work the nine to five job, they come home, they have dinner, what do they do after dinner? The I think it's safe to say the majority like to chill out, sit in front of the TV, watch something, watch an episode or two of whatever it is that's on right now. It just happens to come naturally, I guess. You watch TV, you want to snack. And chance is good you're not reaching for an apple or a banana or a little bit of Greek yogurt. Chance is good you're grabbing the good stuff the salty snacks, the sweet snacks, and the calorie-dense snacks. And nobody, let's be honest, nobody's sitting there tracking what they're eating while they're watching TV, right? So this whole thing about getting fat because you ate after seven o'clock, is not because you ate, it's because you're eating crap. Now, there's also the whole, you know, yes, your metabolism does slow down when you are sleeping, but that doesn't mean it shuts off completely. Uh, guys, your sleep is your recovery time. When you're in the gym, tearing up those muscles, when do you think your body builds them? It's not when you're sleeping. That time that you spend sleeping is the time that your body recovers. In order to build that muscle, you need a little bit of energy, and energy equals calories. So sometimes it's actually beneficial to eat before you go to bed. Um, I know when I'm in a, you know, let's call it a bulking phase, or when you're just trying to build lean mass, um, you know, you want to avoid putting your body in a catabolic state. And that's why, you know, it's encouraged that you eat every two and a half to three hours. Or what I often recommend to my clients is to eat a slow digesting uh, protein before they go to bed, like cottage cheese, uh, or even just buying some casein. Um, now, am I saying like go ham and eat all the stuff you want before you go to bed? I would say no. Um, I mean, log logistically speaking, your food is your energy and basically you want to eat kind of according to what kind of energy you will be spending later on, right? So if you're sleeping, obviously you don't need like a whole meal, but uh, a couple hundred calories is not going to hurt you. Now, um, for those of you who do, you know, flexible dieting, if it fits your macro style, um, if you didn't eat a whole lot during the day and all your macros are left at night. Go nuts. Your body is very efficient. If you are in a caloric deficit and you're going to bed, it doesn't matter what you ate right before you went to bed. It's not going to get stored as fat. Now, um, you know, some people worry because they say, oh, you know, when I eat supper, like late at night, I wake up and like my, my, my weight is up and guys, your body fluctuates regularly and it can be for numerous reasons. Um, it could be water weight. Water weight's the biggest one, and that can be from anything. It could be from your period. It can be because you ate a lot of salt and not, didn't drink enough water. It could just be simple weight of food. It could be poop. So, I mean, I would, you're, you're gonna range between two, three pounds, depending on, on what it is, but your body doesn't change that quickly. It doesn't store it overnight. Remember guys, in order for your body to actually put on a pound of fat, you need to be eating in excess of 3,500 calories over a span of like, I would say seven to 10 days. So when you see your weight go up overnight, I can guarantee you it's not fat. You didn't eat that much that day unless you did. And well, you should probably see help. And uh, <laughs> so yeah. Just do it! <laughs> Just do it!
go ahead, eat a small meal after 7 o'clock and you'll be fine. You can even eat a large meal after 7 o'clock as long as you're in a deficit, you're okay. Um, or not, if you're even just maintaining, you're good. So trust your body, it's efficient, it knows what it's doing. Let nature take its course, do not worry about time. So the answer is yes, absolutely yes. So you guys, if you're liking these styles of videos, please say so in the comments down below. Give the video a like, it means a lot to me when you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Sophie Pee Fitness out!